Hello and welcome to another video with me, Christian Rauchenwald. Now in today's video, I'm going to unbox and set up the Aware Element, which is an air quality sensor for your home. And you probably might be wondering, why the heck are we unboxing or looking at an air quality sensor on this channel specifically? The reason for that is a project called Planet Watch, which I'm gonna cover in a separate video in the near future. However, what's important to know, it basically is a cryptocurrency based project that pays you for submitting air quality data by using one of their supported sensors. And Planet Watch themselves have a few sensors that are available for sale but very often sold out. However, they are also supporting certain third-party sensors, which would be the case with the Airware Element sensor that we're gonna unbox in this video. How much you can earn, where to get the sensors, which sensors are supported, the different kind of sensors, and all the other important stuff about Planet Watch, as mentioned, will be covered in a separate video. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss that video when it comes in the future. In this video, as I said, we're just gonna focus on the airware element and the first thing I'm going to show you is actually where you can get your sensor as well if you want to get it and for that I'm going to share my screen with you guys and as you can see I'm currently on the store.getaware.com website and I have the airware element product page open and the first thing that will jump out are those red notices here that point out that currently deliveries are also a little bit delayed because as you might imagine similar to other projects like helium network for example there's a huge demand for people getting those sensors so they can actually earn crypto passively by just having the sensor share data. And here there are two things that I want to point out. For the first one, we'll actually have to go to a different page here, and that is there's already an Aware Second Edition or Aware Element Second Edition. And you might be wondering why did you get the Aware Element when there's already a newer version? And the reason for that is because they are more or less the same. One of the differences is the casing, why the Aware Element that we're going to unbox today has a lighter plastic enclosure. The Aware Element Second Edition actually comes with a North American walnut timber. So it's made out of wood and it allows for something called the knocking feature, which means you can knock on the device to trigger certain things, which the aware element which we are unboxing doesn't allow. However, both work the exact same way when it comes to Planet Watch, which is the important part in my case. And besides that, the only other difference is the knocking feature in quotes. So if we scroll down in the comparison, you can see one difference is the walnut timber casing, of course, and the other difference is here the double knock for a clock and the device sound alert both of which are features that I personally don't need, which means for the aware element, it will show you some air quality metric on the screen, whereas the second edition would allow you to knock on the case to basically display a clock on the device instead. In other words, if you're like most people just getting the device to be able to use it with Planet Watch and then basically earn planets by sharing your air quality data, it doesn't make a difference which device you get. While the second edition might look nicer and offer you the clock feature, it's not relevant when it comes to Planet Watch. And the second thing I want to point out here on this product page is the price because right now if you were to order your device you would be charged $299 within the US or if you were to place your order in the UK or European store you would actually be charged 299 British pounds which right now would actually be 400 US dollars. And that is important for two different reasons. First of all, I personally ordered our device in the US and used the forwarding service so that I didn't have to pay the British pound price, but I paid the US dollar price and basically saved money this way. And second of all, when I placed my order for our wear element, which we're gonna unbox in this video on the 7th of September, which is roughly three weeks prior to recording this video, as you can see in my order confirmation, we will actually paid 149 US dollars for the device and even got a small discount. So effectively we paid $141 plus the shipping fees from the forwarding service, which means during the last three weeks, Aware actually more than doubled their price. Now the price in the European store back on the 7th of September, as far as I recall it, I'm not 100% certain about that, used to be 199 British pounds. So it was already more expensive than in the US store, but it was by far not as expensive as it is now. And the reason why I'm sharing that with you is not to make you feel bad that you now have to pay more than what we paid, but to actually incentivize you to go out and search for other 
air quality sensors that are supported by Planet Watch that are not as greedy as AWARE appears to be. I get that supply and demand dictate the market, but not only have the prices in the European store already been higher and in British pounds, which are obviously worth more than US dollars at the current exchange rate, but they increased them even further to go from $150 that we paid for our US orders just a few weeks ago to now the equivalent of $400 for the exact same device, which in my opinion shouldn't even be legal in the first place. So as I said, while I'm personally happy that we got our hands on an aware element at a time when they were in stock and we didn't have to wait too long and we also got it for a lower price, I really encourage you do some research, maybe jump on our Discord community and there check the Planet Watch channels and discuss with others what other sensors are supported by Planet Watch and are available and are not trying to basically, in my opinion, rip off their customers simply because the demand is currently higher. But anyway, with that mini rant out of the way, let's go to the actual unboxing. For that, I'm gonna to switch to our second camera so you can see the package. And you can see it doesn't look like that much. So it's a small box that arrives here. I haven't opened it yet, so I have no idea what's in there. We can see that it supports Alexa, it works with Google Assistant, and eventually it will work or should work with Planet Watch as well. Although the instructions for how to onboard that sensor for Planet Watch are not yet available, they should be released in a couple of days. And I will make a separate video that shows how to then set up this sensor for Planet Watch so you can actually earn crypto. Now, all that's left to do is actually to actually unbox that thing. So by trying to remove the outer cover that contains the product information. And then actually we are yeah like looking at an average ugly brown box. I'm going to just put this here so it looks a little nicer. And we're going to open this brown box and see what's inside. Now we can see first of all, there is our aware element sensor and there is also a booklet up here. So I'm gonna go here so you can see it better. And it's called quick start guide. Now as I said, I haven't opened the box before so I have no idea what's in there. It explains which sensors are in the device, which personally for me is not super relevant. I mean, I like the benefit that we will get some feedback as to how good the air quality is in our office or in our studio, depending on where we place that thing in the end. But overall, I really just bought it because of Planet Watch, because it's another cryptocurrency project that I deem interesting and has potential. Now, as for the quick start guide, it explains the different parts. So the air intake sensors and stuff like that. And then it's actually quite easy. Plug it in, download the Airware app. So that would be for the setup with the actual Airware app and not for the setup with Planet Watch, which as said, will only be available in the future. So within the next couple of days or weeks and then follow the instructions in the app. So it doesn't sound too hard. And other than that, we have a readme. We have different color coding for air quality, green, yellow, red, and then other codes like blue for Bluetooth, purple for Wi-Fi, white for device setting update. And then an explanation for the display, which we're also going to ignore for now. Now there's also something called an aware score, which basically tells you if the score is zero to 59, your air quality is poor, 60 to 79, it would be fair and 80 to 100 is good. And then the rest is basically legal disclaimers, product specifications and system requirements and so on. So we can put that aside as well and actually look at the sensor itself. So I'm gonna just take this out. It's actually smaller than I expected and it also doesn't look very nice, making me partially regret that we went for the airware element and that I didn't bother to look for the uh, element second edition with the wood enclosure. There's also some dust particle already on it, so it doesn't look that great, but overall it's not super fancy. And we can see there's a USB type C port to actually plug it in. Now with that, we're gonna put that somewhere aside and then I assume below there, we just have the charger. And yep, we have the charger which probably brings us to one of the challenges because that is a US charger and since I ordered the US device and I'm obviously not in the US anymore. However, it's pretty much just an adapter from your electric socket to USB so you can use this USB type C charging wire and it has a power output of five volts and two amperes 
Now you could technically use an adapter that has less amperage or more. More would be better because the device would only use what it needs and if it has 5 volts but let's say 0.5 ampere there is the chance that the device will not work properly because the adapter wouldn't provide enough power. So if you also order from the US you basically could look for a different adapter that has the same power output or ideally higher amperage to make sure the device gets how much it needs. I'm not sure if it actually will need 2 ampere or not, we'll see. And or you could get an adapter to be able to plug in the US plug into a European socket or wherever you're living. Now let's check if there's something else but it doesn't look like it, just looks like it's box. Okay, that's it. So that's pretty much, let's put that back. And that's it as far as the unboxing goes. Now we obviously have the setup left and with that I'll see you in a minute. Now luckily enough I still had a USB adapter that actually supports pretty much the same amperage required. I tried plugging it in into the USB port of my computer which didn't support or provide enough electricity so nothing happened. Now with the right adapter powered in or plugged in, um, I'm not sure if you'll notice it, but there's a small blue light basically that turned on here, which indicates as far as I understand it, the Bluetooth. And I've also downloaded the Aware app already on my phone here, and I'm gonna share the screen with you guys there. And once you start it and you basically sign in or create an account, the first thing you have to do is like to just push the button in the center and basically allow Aware to find or use Bluetooth. And then press find aware so it can use Bluetooth to basically look for the aware sensor that you just plugged in. And as it mentioned on the screen now with the next step it mentions that when the blue light stops blinking and becomes static you're ready to connect aware to a Wi-Fi network which is the case right now here with the device so the blue light now stopped blinking you can see it in the bottom corner of the device right now and we can actually connect it to our Wi-Fi network so we're going to say find your network which will show us a list of our networks and connect it to our second network here and basically enter our network key and now the light is actually blinking purple. I'm not gonna hold the device up for that, but there we go. It says we're now connected and we get to the next step of the setup, which now says location and interest. Your aware element will display a solid purple light once it's connected. Now let's personalize your aware element to meet your goals. It now actually shows a purple light, which we again can see. So the LED basically serves this purpose, but besides that, we don't see anything else yet. So we can press continue to basically set up the location. And that's the question number one, where we will actually put it. I'm not 100% sure if we'll leave it here in the studio. I thought about it, putting it in the background somewhere and having it there permanently, or if we put it in the office to actually measure the air quality in the room where we spend the most time in. But right now we're gonna continue with my room and I'm assuming that I will be able to update that later. Now we'll have to give it a name since we don't plan to get multiple aware element sensors. We're just gonna call it aware element and press done. And that's pretty much it. Now the last thing to do apparently is to customize aware elements so we can pick between general, so understand what's in your air and learn how to create a healthy space. Allergy, so it will warn you when important allergy triggers are in your space. Uh, sleep, so that's interesting. Unhealthy air can disrupt REM cycles. Productivity, which would be nice in the office. And baby, so in our case it would stay on general and we're just gonna say done. And there we go. So it says brief, easy. Now that you're connected, let's learn how aware element can help you maintain blah, blah, blah. Your air quality score at a glance, aware element tracks five key factors. Okay, so from green or red, poor. Great. It measures the temperature. Now for us, it does that in Celsius. For other people or locations, you could switch it to Fahrenheit, which, yeah, I don't know how to convert properly. So we're gonna keep it at Celsius and continue here. It measures the humidity. And by the way, while we are going through the setup, the additional dots appear. So like we just started seeing the temperature score, we now see the humidity score. And if I press continue again, it goes to CO2 and it starts also to show the lights for the CO2 score, which appears to be a little bit higher here because I'm in a closed room and constantly talking to record videos. And we continue, chemicals seems to be good. So not too many chemicals. So it's like PPB, which is like parts per billion. So uh, very, very small unit to measure things. And whatever PM 2.5 is, 
that would be particles can give you stuffy nose and itchy eyes, which we also don't have. So which probably dust or not. Like I, I don't, really don't know. I would need to look into it. As said, I got the sensor to be able to earn planets and not necessarily to watch or monitor our air quality. Now let's continue here and we see our wear score is 86 and therefore good. We remember a score from 80 to 100 is good. So probably we can improve a little bit here. Now let's continue. And we see that on the back there are buttons, which are, as you can see here, um, no, the other side here, I cannot reach it right now, to change the display and cycle through certain things. Now on last thing here, so from the front it now looks like this. So you can see that it displays the different scores and the overall score. And now I'm just gonna continue in the app and the app now stays like this. We're gonna put the phone down. So I have both hands, hold it like this and push the button to cycle through Okay, so temperature, humidity, CO2, chemicals, PM 2.5, the time. So as said, the aware element second edition would have a feature where you can knock on it to basically then switch to the time, I guess. And as we can see now, it actually started to update. You might have missed it because I had to cut out a small part of the video here, but apparently it found a download and it's now updating. So when I'm now pressing the button, nothing happens and nothing changes. So we're gonna have to, actually real quick, it briefly changed, yeah. So we're actually gonna have to let it update, but it's also pretty much it already. So the thing is, it's a device that honestly doesn't look as nice as I thought it would. I really thought that it would look nicer even in the plastic enclosure. If I would have known that I might have bothered to look for the wooden version instead but to be fair it's either going to end up in the background of the video somewhere or in our office to measure the air quality there and overall our air quality scores are good and I'm not too concerned about having a slightly higher CO2 score here in the studio because I'm recording already for a couple of hours a bunch of different videos and since the door is closed and it's a in quote small room um, obviously the CO2 score will slowly increase because there's a lack of fresh air over time. But yeah, it's an interesting thing to have. And in the end, like most people will likely not care about the air quality, but simply get it to earn planets. As mentioned multiple times through the video, however, we'll have yet to wait for the exact instructions how that aware element sensor can be onboarded with Planet Watch. So you can actually earn planets for sharing your air quality data. But besides that, now you already know what's in the box, how it works, so how you can set it up what kind of data the device displays and why I personally think that you should look for alternatives from other manufacturers that don't rip off their customers simply because there is higher demand. And that's pretty much it. As said, I will definitely publish a video in the future that talks about Planet Watch, what it is, how it works, which kind of sensors there are, how you can earn and what you can earn by using or sharing your air sensitivity or quality data. And I will also follow up with a separate video once it's clear how to onboard the airware element to Planet Watch to show people that also got that sensor or device how to do it. If you have any questions whatsoever about this specific air quality sensor, or maybe even better, you already know of other manufacturers that are not ripping off the customers, which as said is my opinion about what Airware is doing by increasing the prices simply because there is demand. Well then please feel free to share them in the comments down below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to not miss out once I release the follow-up videos that dive more into Planet Watch and how to onboard this specific sensor as well. Additionally, if you wanna have deeper discussions or participate in our daily Bitcoin giveaway, well then I recommend that you actually check the pinned comment down below and join our Discord community because there we have channels for Planet Watch and every other project that I reviewed in the past and as mentioned also daily giveaways. So that's the place to go to actually stay in touch and connect with me and the community. Thanks for watching. See you in one of my other videos. Till then, bye-bye.